Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to season three of Ghost Town Alive, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Mike from LA1, and today we're going to be showing around the new citizens of town spoilers, because there's probably going to be some. So it's going to be a good day. We're going to make our way to town hall. First thing we're going to go in. And of course, you're going to be seeing my outlandish attire, which, spoilers, is from the cruise. So see you in a bit. Okay, here we go, town hall. Let's get it on, town hall. Oh, all right. Hang on, let's take a look around town a little bit. All right, time to go on in. There's Josh Lucas here. There's Lucy's here. Everybody's here. You need to listen to what I have to say. All right, thanks. Pay attention to me. Got it. There you go. How are we going to spend all the taxpayers' money today? This is an indeed perplexing. You know what that's for? Yeah. It's a block. Oh, you. You know what that's for? Tell them what it is. Tell them what it is. So when you have a, a pen, you it and then you write. Oh, here we go. Oh, my word. What can I do with y'all? I know that the building this classy and industrial environment such as this speaks of wealth. I understand. Can, you, can I swear you in as a citizen for you met the It's been too long, Mr. Howell. Hello there. How are you, sir? Good. It's been too been long. Way man. too long. Oh my goodness. Did you want to get sworn in? I'm married. Actually, Oh no, not the Zeke again. Yeah. All right, might as well take a look around town some more, then. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I'm gonna be more careful about that. I'm so sorry about that. How's it going, Luke? Oh, it's Long going time good. no see. Oh, well, it's good to see you too, Mister. Uh, Luke is here. Luke is back for another round, huh? Hey, Brandon, what the incarnation are you doing? I don't know my facts. <laughs> Yeah, new same sign from last year, Founders Day. <laughs> same sign from last year. What's going on around here? 
Obrigado, né? Long time no see. Yeah, well, you taking care of yourself? Well, you guys have been gone for so long, I might as well take a trip. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, glad the lawyer can finally get trucks. Oh, let's head inside the bank, because I haven't seen, there's a certain someone in there I haven't seen in forever. Howdy there, sir. How are you doing today? Coop Walker, where have you been? Well, I've been out in the town called Whittier. Oh, what is it? There. How are you? It's been a long time, hasn't there we, it? There we go. That's what we do. Oh. A, it's been a long time. Oh, yeah, I was gone for quite a while. Yeah. But I'm happy to be back out here in Calico. Yeah, we, we missed you. Oh, believe me, I miss Calico. Missed out on a lot of fun, but you know what? I'm happy to be back. I got my new friend Antonio here. See, si, Antonio Salvatore. Nice Piacere. to meet you. He's helping guard the nugget. The si. nugget? Si. What, what, what nugget? Well, don't I'm you remember from last Founders Day, we oh. had that big explosion, Peg Legs showed up saying, Ophelia, I found the mother load. We found Wait. a nugget, I swear, it's Wait. the size of your head. Run that by me again. Oh, is Ophelia's father alive? Yes, Peg Legs. See, Peg Legs, he's, uh, he's, he, he owned the town. He buy the whole town with the nugget. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I thought he was dead. Well, that's what we all we thought. All I thought he fell into the pit of misery and he never didn't come back. Well... He fell into the pit. However, he managed to survive. See, oh see, my. See, very good. Then he appeared with that Welcome nice big nugget. <laughs> Welcome to town, Sal Antonio. Grazie, signore. Uh, happy Founders Day. Happy, happy Founders, Founders Day. Happy Founders Day, sir. Good to see you. It's, great to, it's great to have you oh, back. There we go. Great to have you back. Nothing's going on in town. Let's see. Oh, there's Ike. Oh, I need <laughs> Mr. Campbell. Mayfield. The other one <laughs> is addressed to the citizens of the town of Calico. Uh, Clay, there's there's yours. Uh, the, the other one reads um, from the office of the Honorable Governor Benjamin N. Parker Stone. Greetings and felicitations in honor of Calico's reaching the formidable milestone of 77 years as a township. I have instructed my agents to place a special and historical gift aboard a locomotive of the Calico Railroad arriving Calico Depot today at 1210. Congratulations and salutations. Signed, Governor Parker Stone. Yeah. Oh, I, um, I, I also received a telegram, and I want to make sure everybody is over at that depot at 1210. Uh, yeah, folks, you all do not want to miss it. Make sure you're over at the depot 1210 this afternoon. You do not want to miss this. Looks like it could be history in the making. You have no idea. I, I need to get this over to town hall and tell the mayor. Yeah, I want to make sure everybody's over there. We'll go with you. Come on. Yeah. Here we go. Let's head over to town hall. Come on, here we go. All right, everybody, come on. We're going to town hall. Here we go, folks. Big news at town hall. Come on this way, everybody. Uh. Howdy, ladies. There's big news at Town Hall. We I like your mustaches. We, we, we can trust you, right? Can we trust you? Uh, yes, I'm Clay Mayfield. Okay. And Clay, we trust. <laughs> we got news at Town Hall. Wonderful, terrible news at Town Hall. What? Hey, we got big news down at Town Hall, y'all. Well, it's wonderful, terrible news, Friday. Wonderful, wonderful, terrible news. 
I don't know what. I don't know what. Come on, everybody. I don't know what your father's doing. If this is who I think it is. Why did Luke work for the school now? Cover your ears, folks. Come on in, down the road. Woo! Lemon. Come on in here, folks. We've got some news. Get on in here. Come on in here. What is going on? My word. Claymate. Didn't we just do this? Uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, I'm, I'm afraid it's me. Oh. The system, but we just received a telegram from the governor himself. Oh. Uh, yeah, it says, uh, from the office of the Honorable Governor Benjamin N. Parker Stone, greetings and felicitations. In honor of Calico's reaching the formidable milestone of 77 years as a township, I have instructed my agents to place a special and historical gift aboard a locomotive of the Calico Railroad arriving Calico Depot today at 1210. Congratulations and salutations, son, Governor Parker Stone. Oh, 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 that's good news. Yeah, that is good news. Oh, this is going to be the best Father's Day ever. What a wonderful surprise. Uh, it's not the only surprise coming in on the 1210. Now, what in the world? Are you talking about daddy-in-law? Uh, I got a telegram myself, and uh, you're gonna want to be at that depot at 1210. Uh, or can we not have one Founders Day without you and your family causing trouble? Oh, this ain't trouble. You ain't seen trouble. Yeah, just... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. The sheriff's officer telling me good news. Absolutely. Well, Mom, let's go down. Yeah, we'll go with you. You're gonna go with me? Yeah, we'll go with you. Clay, you and your family are more than welcome, but please, please, I beg of you, let us have one Founders Day without you and your family stirring up a bunch of trouble. Come on, let's go. Come on, everybody, let's go tell the sheriff. Come on, 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 let's go tell the sheriff. Long time no see. The governor's the governor's here apparently. Uh, we got a message from the governor. From the governor? Yeah. Message from the governor. Message from the governor. <laughs> the governor. The go It's the governor. Message, apparently a message from the. Cover your ears, buddy! Cover your ears, cover your ears. Fire in the hole! Go! Ha ha! Take the ears off your blanks. Oh, that's okay. Citizens of Calico! Oh my word, gather around, we got big news! Hey, Sheriff, Sheriff, get out of here! What is going on out here? Carnation ain't got nothing to do with it, Bryce. Hey, come on up here, Quinn. Got real good news, real good news. Big news, Sheriff, listen to this. <clears throat> A telegram from the office of the Honorable Governor, Benjamin N. Parker Stone. Ooh. Greetings and felicitations. In honor of Calico's reaching the formidable milestone of 77 years as a township, I have instructed my agents to place a special and historical gift aboard a locomotive of the Calico Railroad, arriving Calico Depot this afternoon at 1210. Congratulations and salutations, signed Governor Parker Stowe! Yeah. yeah! Well, that's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, I also received a telegram. <laughs> Don't tell me you got one from the governor. Uh, no, but somebody equally as important to this town. For Pete's sake, Clay, would you stop talking in riddles? 
Sheriff, I think we ought to form a uh, form a guard to help protect whatever's coming in on that train. Yeah! Yeah! Just from what's coming in on that train. Please give it a rest, Clay. My word. You know, Deputy, I think a guard of volunteers is an excellent idea. Well, thank you so much, Deputy Mayor. Folks, we need each and every one of you to help us out. Meet us right back here in front of the Sheriff's Office at 11.50, where we're going to put together a very special guard to help collect whatever's coming in on that there train. So meet us back here at the Sheriff's Office at 11.50. Oh, my word. You heard my handsome Deputy, 11.50. What? Thank you all. Get out there and enjoy Founders Day. What's the word? Oh, it's good to be back in town. Look at all these hunts. Long time no see, Ophelia. Long time I'll be no right see. Back. Long time. How you so, been? So, I heard your father came back. Well, he did. He came back to town and everything. Apparently under the... I thought he was dead. Well, no. He has been gone for a very, very long time. But he is he is alive and well. Oh, hello. How are I, you? I heard he fell into a pit or something. And then he, said, and then he found the nugget. Oh, he did? Hold on. Let me just say hi to my friend. How you been? You're gotten so big. I know. Oh, my goodness. The marvel of what I left him. Oh. Howdy there, sir. Dr. Carter, long time no see. Oh, Happy Founders Day. Happy Founders Day to you. Good to see you. You too. So, what brings you into town today? What else? <laughs> the hoedown. Well, you're going to be joining us at 5 30? Uh, yes. Excellent. Wonderful. Well, it's big I've been practicing during my travels. Well, so, have you been? As you can see by my attire. By the time, oh, that's you've been traveling all over the seas, haven't you? Yeah, because you guys have been gone for so long, I might as well go on vacation. Well, that's good. Uh, remember, all work and no play makes, makes that's, up that's the not good. Oh, uh, that's all right. It's only I've always been on the second ship in the world, biggest in the world. The second biggest ship in the world? Yep. What's that? You're looking at it. Is it called the... Mr. Campbell, <coughs> how have you been after all this time? Well, after what? After all this time we've been away. Well, uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, Rested, relaxed, had a wonderful time. Same here with me during my travels. Yeah, good to be back in Calico and happy Founders Day. Happy Founders Day. Yeah, Thankfully, absolutely. during my trip, I practiced the hoe down steps. Oh, did you? Ready. All right. Although, was, although the seas were a lot nicer than it was, I was anticipating, but uh -huh. beggars might be choosers. Ah, well, there you have it. Yep. So, did you buy anything with your gold? I heard that Miss Ophelia's father was was found after all this time. Yes, absolutely. He uh, struck it rich, and and uh, it was a gold strike. And boy, we've had people just swarming into town ever since. Yeah, we got we got we got more new. I knew Coop came back. Yeah, Coop came back, and we've got a new bank guard over to bank. And Antonio. Him, Antonio. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, nice new school too. teachers, and with the assay office is just bustling. We got all kinds of folks down there, um, and we've had folks just come in and. Visit Visit, you know, and, and uh, move in and stay. We got all kinds of folks. Yeah, and speaking of people I haven't seen in forever, howdy, Levi. Howdy. Been a long time no see. Oh, welcome back. Uh, well, it's better than my tropical attire today. Uh huh. Now, if you, I swear, I don't know why I chose the Mayfield colors, but oh well. We, we can forgive you. Yeah. Everything you can find these days. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good luck.
<laughs> All right, we got to go over there. Uh. So, have you been one shot? Oh, just Sandy. I'm loving my new job. Wait, you got a new job? Yes, I'm the new town clerk. Wait, what happened to Elsie? She died. Nope. Wait a minute, how many carnations? She went back home to be with her folks, and she went to a church sociable. Poor thing got bit by a snake. Man, everyone's pinned. Another snake bite death. Jeez. Poor thing got bit by a snake. Ugh, now I know why a certain somebody hates snakes. Yep. So now, so they needed to find somebody, and they felt that since I was, you know, the town hero, being the raven and all that, that I adds true. It. So Horton hired me on, and now I'm the county clerk. Oh, that's great. That's Not to be mistaken with the town clerk. That's Kenny. That's Kenny. I'm the county clerk. Yeah, because we know Kenny can raise a storm around here. He sure can. That was a good one. Thank you. At least, at least at least, during my trip, I didn't lose anything because I practiced my steps during the hoedown during my trip. Oh, you did? First off, all right. Folks, they're using a regulation pistols, uh, six shooters. They're going to get five shots apiece. They'll take turns one at a time. So you can shoot at any target that I've chosen, well, which has been uh, the panel of the uh, uh, the uh, National Board of uh, Shoot Gallery Competitions. Uh, we chose them very carefully, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, so you just take your pistol and you just aim at the one that I point out, and you just shoot at it. Let's see, let's pick a high one. Um, so I see it. It. Just like that, and it'll go off just like that. So, ladies, always being first, everyone give a nice big round of applause to Catherine. <laughs> Um, let's start you off real close by. Uh, go ahead and take a shot at the little target with the red swirl on it. Woo! That's one. All right, Captain, step over here. Now, Andrew, it's your turn, so go ahead and take a shot at that same target. You can stand wherever you like. Oh, give a big hand. Real nice. Boy, they both, they both hit it. I don't know what to do. I tell you what. Both got dead. You want a little harder, right? So, uh, how about to... Uh, how about the tin can right there? Oh, real nice. Real nice, boy. All right, Andrew. The same one. Oh, boy. Boy, I, I, I would never have seen that these champions would both be running neck and neck like this. Oh, Catherine, Catherine, uh, remember, an empty gun is always a loaded gun. Point that out in that direction. All right, all right. All right. Thank okay, you, Miss Dynamite. Ahead, uh, this time, I want you to shoot uh, at the piano right there in the corner. You better ensure that trigger finger, honey. Yeah, yeah, very nice, very nice. All right, Andrew, it's your turn. Go ahead and shoot that uh, corner there at the piano there. Oh, boy, boy, oh, look at this. Three and three, three and three. All right, Catherine, um, let's see. Young lady, would you do the honors and pick, uh, pick a target for Catherine? Pick something a little high up so that everyone can see you. Uh, the box with the chicken in it? That's an excellent choice. Excellent choice. Uh, uh, Catherine, uh, the chicken box right there. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Boy, that was an oh, excellent shot. Uh, all right. Andrew, don't be nervous now. Uh, this is number four, am I right? Number four? Yeah. All right. Step right up. Get the chicken box there. Whoever that is. Oh, no, 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 no. Four and four. Ladies and gentlemen, our two champions are on their last shot. If you haven't seen this yet, step right up. Champions for the shooting contest. All right, Catherine. I'm gonna make this a little more difficult. All right. All right. Uh, go ahead and uh, shoot way up top there, the little pop organ up there in the corner. You see it? She's taking her time. Did you? Did you? Pass her? Oh, 
I understand, I understand. The sight is probably bent a little bit and you couldn't see it. Everyone give Catherine a nice big round of applause. Okay, all right, all right, there it is, all right. Okay, and you step right up. I have the pipe organ up there. <laughs> did you shoot at it? You did? Everyone give Andrew a nice big round of applause. They were even Stevens, four and four. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, our two champions, Andrew and Catherine, they are champions of the children's category, in my, in my opinion. Give them a big hand. Go ahead and shake hands. Shake hands. All right. Now go ahead and back up to where your families are. Now, um, fellas, are you ready? Yeah. All right. Uh, all right, will you stand right over here, Jamal? Okay, let's go. All right, uh, Jamal or Jamal? Jamal, right. Jamal. All right. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are about to start our adult section of the shooting competition. If you'd like to see this, step right up. Step right up, it won't cost you a dime. Come on up. All right, now remember, gentlemen, I know. Uh, always treat these. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You might, you might shoot someone with a laser I'm from in the New eye. Mexico. Well, I, I got you, I got you. All right, all right. Okay. Uh, uh, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's just a tester. All right, gentlemen, we're going to have to figure out who's going first. So uh, pick a number between uh, 1 and 10. 9. Uh, 1 and 10. 8. He's closest. All right. Now, um... So now, um, I want you to go ahead for the first target. I want you to shoot uh, something simple. Shoot uh, this rattlesnake right here down below on the bottom there. You see? Uh-oh. Oh, very nice. You got it. Very nice. Yeehaw! Sure. Now, whoever your champion is, feel free to hoot and holler for him and, and, and applaud. Okay, Jamal, go ahead and shoot that rouse for me right there, sir. Oh, very nice. Oh, very nice. Very nice. The camera All right. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, young man, young man, can you pick a target for Omar to shoot at? What would you, what do you want to see him hit? The bananas? Uh-uh. Uh, where, where, where's the, uh, oh, no. I'm on the target. Underneath the hat, we'll do that. Yeah, but you gotta be careful before they quit. Alright, there you go, Omar. Oh, there it goes, there it goes, there goes the monkey right there on the left side. Can you see that one? The banana's better. Right. Yeah, slow these niggas, these niggas. Hi, uh, very nice, there it goes, a little further. Very nice. All right, uh, well, that was two, right? Yeah. That's two. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Omar, I'm going to make it a little bit more difficult for you now. So, uh oh. Uh, you're going to go ahead and shoot the tin can on the corner, but this time I want you to lift your right foot up. Oh! Hey! Oh, well, well. Uh, well, you know what you got to do? Lift your, lift your right foot up. There you go. Oh, I missed. Oh. That's all right. That's all right. Ain't no shame. Ain't no shame. I made it a little difficult. I understand. All right. Omar. Uh, this time, I want you to go ahead and shoot at, the, uh, shoot at the token in the middle. But this time, I want you to do it from behind your back. So turn around. Oh. Yes, oh. Are you sure he's not a Mayfield? Give it a shot now, same thing, Dang, same thing. Difficult. Come on, you got it, you got it. Oh! oh. That's all right, that's all right. That's a difficult shot, difficult shot. Are we on number four? Is four coming up? Four? All right. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, young lady, young lady, are you, did you come with Omar? Are you with his family? Okay, so you go ahead and pick something, pick something challenging for Omar. Oh! Take a last shot. Yeah, okay. But uh, Omar, uh, the bell, that's an okay challenge in the challenge target, but I want you to close your eyes this time. Oh! So, so, so aim on it, aim on it, get get your hand where you want it, and then close your eyes. Okay, his eyes are closed. Oh! 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 Okay, here we go. So close your eyes. Well, you go ahead and aim it first, and then. Okay, here it goes. 
It ain't broken. It ain't broken. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, that was that. Was that the last one? Yeah. I'll tell you what. Let's give him a. Did you Did you folks like that? Yeah. yeah. Let's give him one more shot. It's so entertaining. One more shot. Uh, Omar. Let's see. How about we? Uh, let's see. Um, we have a moving target. A moving target. Uh, Someone get a Mayfield. Egg that kind of occasionally yeah. moves, but we don't know when it moves. So that here we go. Uh, young man, young man, go ahead and pick one more target for these gentlemen. Anyone you like. I'm a left-handed. Oh. oh, very good. You've done this before. Done this before. Have you picked one? He's gonna. His bigger brother. They're they're confined together. Looks like you, Dale. Which one? The light up here in the middle. Excellent choice. Excellent choice. Uh, gentlemen, who who prefer to go first? Does it matter? All right. Uh, Omar, would you like to go first? So, uh, okay, so I got left handed? Left handed. Left handed. With your eyes closed. With my eyes closed. Oh, no, wait, wait, I, it's hard enough. I can't hit it with my eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least he's honest. Left handed. Left handed's good. At least, good. Honest. at least he's honest. Oh, God. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. All right, Omar. At least he's honest. I look long time no see. I know. Are you having a happy Founders Day so far? Just got in town over an hour ago. Really? Well, did you hear the big news? Yeah, the gut. We got a message from the governor of all people. Right, and I heard something's coming in on the train. That, this means it could be one of two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, this could be one of two things. I heard, okay. Either A, the governor is giving us, they're giving the town more money. Oh, that would that be good. Or something can, something might go wrong. Oh, I hope nothing goes wrong. No, no. Problem. Can't we just have one Founders Day that's just nice and simple and pleasant? <laughs> yeah, it's because we're, we're getting tired of the Mayfield's hoopla. I know. Hoopla is the right word for it. That's right. Alrighty. See, Miss Goldie sent me a letter. Well, yes, she did. How she, how's she doing? She said, well, she's hoping I didn't get into no trouble, but the problem is I'm already in some trouble. Yeah. Well, what? But she doesn't say how soon she's going to see That's, that's right. okay. But I think I should try to replace the phones as soon oh, yes. as possible. Yes. Um, they have accidentally broken one of her items upstairs. Uh, it, was it, purely accident, it was purely, purely accidental. Purely. Hey, there's a, there's a, I don't know if uh, Miss Gertie told you, but there's something. Go, if something goes wrong, you can blame Emery Munn for it. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, Emery, of course. I would when it, when in yeah. doubt, because there's a saying, when it, if something goes wrong, blame Emery. Oh, that's good. He was running and he jumped in. He was running, he jumped in, broke and broke in half. No yes, because you would there's never no do no anything. Room. Well, right? on the subject of procuring those funds, then. I, I did have a little Just in plan. case she doesn't believe about the Emory. Okay. I did have a little plan going with some of my young friends in town that we're going to meet here about 12.50. Okay. You're welcome to come help me. What's going I on? I actually use somebody like you two to come and meet me at 12.50. We're going to watch over the sheriff's office, maybe distract the sheriff, maybe distract the bank guards, and, uh... Take that nugget out of the vault and just borrow it. No, just borrow oh. a little piece, though. Just a little piece and polish it off. Oh yes. There's my little helpers. I'll see you at twelve fifty. Oh. So how do you feel about the? I will give it consideration. Same here. Of course you wouldn't get into no trouble. Of course not. And of course. That's all. How do you feel about the new citizens coming in, Ms. Violet? Oh, I'm real pleased to meet them. They're all so nice and helpful. Keep this town running smoothly. Yeah, Ms. Down, then you got to meet Coop, which you probably haven't seen since he was out. When you moved in, every, he was out of town. That's right. I'm, I'm happy to meet him. And the only thing I'm having trouble with is the uh, bank seems to be more heavily guarded than ever. <laughs> oh, with Antonio. Yes. Mm -hmm. Antonio Salvatore. Antonio, yes. Mm -hmm. But I do have lunch plans with him, and I'm thinking maybe I'll just... Ooh. Maybe, maybe a little feminine wise. Perhaps that's a good idea. Well, mm -hmm. here, you two. 
Maybe you can go around town and if you find any information about the bank, how to get into that vault. Come back I really want to get know. to know Antonio. I mean, you know. Maybe you can go li- get to know Antonio. But he seems like a, he seems like a cool guy. He sure is, and maybe he's an although it's kind of scary because it's kind of scary that I don't know what Mr. Fortune was. I don't know. hiring policies. I don't know. So maybe you too, if you can find out any information, come on back. And at twelve fifty, we're gonna make our move. All right. Thank Unless you so I'm- much for your help. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, hold on. Ah. Ah, gotta get the sunglasses on. Governor's got a gift coming in on the 1210 train. Make sure to be there at the depot. Howdy there, man. How are we doing today? I'm well, sir. Happy Founders Day. You need yourself a seat. There you go. Happy Founders Day to you, too. A gift from the governor. I own the state. What do you think it is? In New York, they have these big fancy plaques up about big mines and all like that. Yes, you want to know? And by the way, I actually love your outfit, man. Oh, thank you, sir. What a great watch you got on. Yes, you may. Can't see the right place. Read all about it. Make sure to be there at the 1210 train, all right? Happy Founders Day, Thurman. Oh, what's going on there, Michael? Yeah, you, you didn't you didn't see paper? me in the whole this new new getup. No, you look uh, like you're in disguise, incognito. Well, I, well yes. I, if you guys have been gone for so long, I might as well go on vacation. Yeah, yeah, I like it, man. Uh, well, Happy Founders Day. Happy Founders Day. Do no, you have, you have any idea what this this gift could be? No, it's a mystery to me. Yeah, that, this, I think it's either one of two things. There you go. Either we're going to get more, even though the, I think it may be one of two things. Oh, yeah. Either the governor's going to give us more money, or something might go horribly wrong. Oh, you think the governor's going to give us money? Yeah, because we need more money as it is, right? Yeah. Hey, governor. We're gonna get more money. Something to go home here. If this is who I think this is, and the hoopla. Look, Nathan, what are you doing? How you doing? Good, long time no see, Ike. Could be one much, much more. Revolving, a revolving door. Do you have any idea what this could be? Sorry. That's not who I think this is. Hey, Tiny. How to do? Long time no see. Indeed. Uh, do you have any idea what this gift could be? What's from the governor. I do not know, but to be perfectly honest with you. I'm more concerned about the other thing coming in on the train. Then here, because if this is who I, if this might be, I think it may be one of two things. Either A, the governor's going to give us more gold. That'd be good. Or something could go horribly, horribly wrong. That's what's going to happen when the other thing that's on the train gets off of the train. Something is going to go horribly, horribly wrong. Yeah, I've been gone so long, I didn't know Miss Elsie passed. God, God rest, rest her soul. soul. Yeah, she passed and... Now my wife is the new, what you call it? She over told there. me that's great news. Problem is, my pa over there, he still don't like her. He still don't trust my wife. I'm trying to figure out how to get my pa to trust my wife again and accept her back into the family, but I just can't seem to work up the courage to say anything. I don't know about that, that time. What do you think I should tell him? Oh, jeez, I. Re- oh, he's going to talk to him on my behalf. Oh, that'd be fire.
Hey Zeke, long time no see. And to you too. How you doing? Oh, Happy boy. Founders Day. And you too. So I heard you found the, the nugget. Oh yeah, it's the biggest nugget ever. It's the biggest nugget ever. Yeah. It's wonder. Have you seen it? I have it. Come on, let's go look. Yeah. Well, sorry for my outlandish attire today. Oh, it looks perfect. There's not a thing wrong with that. Well, uh, it's okay, Zeke. Zeke, it's okay. Uh, Zeke, it's all right. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Zeke, it's okay. Go back to your shop. I will. Yeah, I will. Bye. Where's my shop? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're Main Street. Thank you. I mean, we got to get ready for the hoedown later on tonight. Oh, I know it. It's going to be quite a hoot. I'm telling you. Yeah, I've been practicing during my travels. I practice my steps. Oh, good. Good. Howdy, Zeke. Well, howdy. How, how are you, sir? Today? Good, Coop. How's everybody doing? We're all having a fantastic day, right? Oh, yeah. good. Oh, good. We've got our famous guard here. This is wonderful. Antonio Salvatore always is. Oh, good. I, I I don't have nothing to worry about, do I, Sarah? No, 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 no. no. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, if they start to open up that thing and they see that nugget, you come back and tell me if you see it, would you? Y'all want to see the nugget? I would love to, Coop. I would love to. You just read his mind. I believe that. We can do that? Have you kids seen it? You have your name, student. I can see already. Yeah, well, I'll tell you. Boy, howdy. So what's the combination, though? Is there a special combination? Oh, oh well, do they want to know the combination? Well, uh, leave that up to you, Mr. Walker. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, normally, it's a two-man job, but give it as help me out and find the combination for me. Yeah, and when you see that nugget, you come back and tell me, okay? All right, so if you're able to go and get the combination, and then I can help open up the vault with y'all. So the, these numbers are left around town, so I, I would give them to you, but just can't have anyone over here. So I yeah, because considering the last time you were in town. Exactly, I can't risk anything getting robbed. Again. So I don't blame you for coming up with this new system. And I got a... Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna make the. Uh, if that thing is sideways, don't worry, y'all. I'll, I'll be making that switch very soon. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna put my glasses back on. Uh, sucks I have to take it off every five seconds. Take it off every five seconds. <laughs> telegram guy came over and told us that we got a letter from the governor and he sent in a very important package on the new well actually 1210 train all right so what we need to do is go over and collect that and protect it all right so it's dangerous yes you have a question no okay all right so what we need to do is form two lines right here i'm going to stand right here oh, sorry sir. all right so i want two lines one on this arm one on this shotgun Facing this, everybody facing me, going this way, okay? All right? <laughs> two lines, everybody, two lines. All right. All righty then. All right. How about, I'm gonna put you in front, come on over here. And we're gonna put you in front, you're good, all right? I need two strong guys, you two, right now. Folks, let's form those two lines, all right? Now the way to look impressive is to march. All right, and we're gonna look very impressive. So I want everybody to march in place. We're marching. Oh man, ain't nobody gonna mess with us. Look at that. All right, so you guys ready? 
Let's do it, Sheriff. I said, are you ready? Yeah! yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Now, we're going to march down over to Town Hall, pick them up, and head to the station. All right, so let's get going. Where's my deputy? I'm right here, oh, Sheriff. Right, don't do that. I know, I'm short. Right. Here, my All friend, right. keep this gun pointed straight up and down. So here, I feel sorry. Let go of this. Sorry. <laughs> go of this. Straight up and down. Yes, cannonball is. Straight up and down, just like that. All right, everybody, let's march in place. And let's move out. Here we, here we go. go, everybody. Come on. Keep your eyes open on, on top of the roofs. Make sure there's no bad guys with guns up there. Don't worry, Sheriff. I make sure we got them. I can't help. Anybody see anything suspicious? Let us know. Yeah. Uh, oh, suspicious right there. Keep your eyes on her. That's a funny-looking gun she's got. And one of my poor cool friends. All right, we're marching. We're marching. It's still on her. You haven't gotten better with your uh, shooting gun. Howdy. How you doing? How are you? Howdy. Make way for the volunteer guard. Coming through. Volunteer guard. Anyone like to join us? Mark, 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 Mark. Come on, Depp. Come on. Wait, oh no. What are you talking about? Come on, Jeff, you're in here. Come on, Ward, look at all them braids. Uh, hold it up. Oh. Just listen to them. All right. I know, they are sharp looking, aren't they? I would have rustled some of them, but ain't nobody sitting in here but the three of us. Oh, is that right? It's you a real kind morning. Would you like to join us? You know I would. <laughs> all right. You guys ready? Yeah! All right, we're going to try that again. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah! We're going to go down all right. train Here we go. Oh, whoa, the train's just... The train is late. All right, so let me tell everybody, all right? I want you to keep your eyes open. Look for any bad guys. If you see anybody that looks bad, yell out. There's one, yeah, like a major. Like that guy, like Fluke over there? No, he's not bad anymore. Well, he, he disarms a broom, all right? Yeah. Boy, that's... Yeah, you're okay, right? Boy, that's what I, I want you to say hi to our guard. All right. Yeah, he was a bad guy, but he's okay now. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah! Let's go. Let's do that. Make way for the guard, everybody. The volunteer guard coming through. We're marching. We're marching. Can you hold this, I can do that for you. Uh, do you have any idea what this gift could be? Uh, watch out for this guy. I don't know, it looks suspicious. He's drinking already. It's hot. Can you blame the guy? I'm ready for the... I don't know about you, Sierra, but I'm ready for the hoe now. Yes. I think I saw some oh, Mayfields go in the Calico oh, hold Saloon. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. What? I think I saw some Mayfields go in the Calico Saloon. Is that right? All right, as we pass the saloon, keep your eye. What happened to my two lines? Come on, form up. Come on, form up. Form up nice. All right, now, as we pass the saloon, I want you all keep your eyes open on the saloon, okay? If you see something yell out, we'll stop and we'll shoot. All right? All right, here we go. Let's you better go. don't have my gun. Uh oh! <laughs> Easy there, buddy. If anyone deserves a shooting, it's the deputy. Nothing yet. I'm not seeing nothing yet. Oh, you guys look nice. Make those two lines right here. Come on, make two lines. We got. 
Well, that's the third time I've heard that. You in the fourth? Well, fourth time. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Right? Down your drinks. <laughs> Stunning, ladies and gentlemen. What? Another box. Another box. You put a box in another box. And then another box, and then another box. All right. Anybody else? You got an idea? Well, I think it could be one of two things. One of two things. Either this town is going to be even more rich with more gold. More gold. Or, or something might go horribly, horribly wrong. Well, we're not even hoping that. But let's hope for the gold. All right, all right, what do you think they put in there? I know what it is. What? It's a surprise. It's a surprise. I think I, sure. Good answer, Ike. Good sure. answer, Ike. Hold on. I think they got a copy of that date in there with the trashy man. Good try, Clay. It belongs to the cinches. This is documented in town hall. They purchased the deed last year. Right there at that hold down with that big old gold nugget yeah. that they found in that house. By the way, you can visit the gold nugget in the bank. If you ain't done so, I highly recommend it. Thank you, Mr. Howell. With the sale of the deed to them, it was taken out from under them. You, you and your family were uh, incarcerated, as it were, and it became the property of the town. We auctioned it off to the highest bidder. <laughs> Thank you. Do you see the train deputy? That is correct, but you were found not guilty of the Wait a minute. Now this this is getting confusing here. Because it did belong to you, but then you were arrested for stealing it, but then you were let go, but we'd already sold it. After you were arrested for stealing it, but then you were let out. Is that what? This, I, I think, I, as a politician, will form a committee to discuss this with another committee. And we're going to look into this matter. This is getting so confusing. The train's almost here. The train's The train! Woohoo! Oh, the train's coming. There it is! Yay! We'll be right back. Phyllis Mayfield? I thought she was dead. Deputy 
Mayor, ma'am. Deputy Mayor, yes, I need to have a word with you. I would, I would be happy to have a word with you. Good. Just not right now. We've got something going on. Okay, everybody, let's get this gift on down. All right, all right, all right, let's go. Follow us to town hall. I have selected two Hi, folks, Langston, who's celebrating his birthday, and Ella Lorraine, who's an actress. Have a big round of applause. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my okay. Uh, ready to open this up here? Okay, come on up here. Okay, open it up. Whoa, wait a second. Is there a letter that came with this? Oh, it did. It came Hold on a second. I can't make head or tails of what's in this box. I got me a new clerk. I've done lost the old one. She uh, she got bit by a snake at a church social. Down, oh, rest no, 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 that happened. Oh, that happened. That's right. okay. Go this ahead and read that. This just came no. in, and it says, Dear people of Calico, what you see before you isn't merely a strong box, but is a time capsule. Ooh. Created by the town's original founders and locked away for 60 years. Wow. We'll find out who they are. Inside, you will find personal articles belonging to these pioneering men and women. My hope is that this bit of history will help connect you to those who founded your wonderful settlement. My office also has reason to believe that a distant relative of the town's founding father is still residing in what? Calico today. What? Congratulations yeah, that's, that's on making Calico up. the jewel of the West. Sincerely, Governor Benjamin M. Parker. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> jewel of the West? Is that Horton's line? He done stole Horton's line. Oh, he did. He stole Horton's line. Oh, my, the original town record was damaged in a fire, but now maybe this will be a link to that. Let's, okay, bring bring out the first item here, like, so what we got in here? Hold it up. What do we got here? Look at that. Whoa, it's a... Yeah, that is a cannon. It's a real stick. And it ain't got nobody's name on it. Okay, what else we got in here? We got... Oh, boy. What's that? Here, hold them up there, youngins. Hold on. What is... What? Stapler. A stapler. 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 A book. A book. Oh, that's going to fall apart. Here, set that one down. What else we got? More shoes. Be careful with those. That one's got a nail. Now we're talking. You know, nothing else in here. I, I, you know, I declare. Yeah, you can head on down there. Thank y'all so very much. I, I declare that the lack of names on these items is very perplexing. Therefore, I propose of like-minded citizens to research and document our town's history using these artifacts right here. And maybe we can figure out once and for all who our true founders of this town were. Hmm, what do you say about that? I think that's a great idea. Now these are going to be on display here at Town Hall, and you're more than welcome. I will head up the committee. You're welcome to come on in and examine these at any time throughout the course of the day. <laughs> now, Deputy Mayor, I was wondering if we could have that word now. Madam, I, I hardly think this is the time nor the place. <laughs> Actually, I, I think this is the perfect time, considering it involves everybody. Now, all right, I think it's no secret that I have a checkered past, and, well, I haven't always had the most shiniest of reputations, so I'm sure you all are wondering why, <laughs> after all this time, I've returned to Calico. Well, I've come to finally claim what's mine. Now, sitting in the security box in that bank down yonder sits a deed for the land that you all are standing on right now. And that deed is in my name. Actually, it's no longer in the bank. Uh-oh. Well, what happened to it? Uh -oh. Well, um, uh, Dad actually last year, since he thought you were dead... Well, obviously that's not true. He, uh... He, he took the deed and he crossed your name out because he thought you were deceased. Now you better tell him to hand that over. Well, he, he doesn't have it anymore. The town uh, the town took the deed and sold it to a prospector named Peg Leg and Ophelia Cinch. Oh, wait a minute now. You all have no right to sell my property. I want my deed back. Ma'am, I'm, 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 I'm afraid that's, that's simply not going to happen. Uh, that deed was purchased by the, the cinches down there in the assay office at a time when your family was incarcerated. <laughs> now, hold on a minute. Let me get this straight now. You all lost my property, and you all sold it? Well, now, I don't think I need to remind you that I've been known to have 
quite a temper. And let me tell you, I'm not yep. happy. Oh, no. So, uh -oh. let me tell you how this is going to work. I'm thirsty from a long train ride, so I'm going to go to that saloon and get me a drink while you all get my deed back. And if I don't have that piece of paper in my hand in two hours, well, then my boy and I, we're going to take it back. Understood? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma I need a drink. Come on. Then I. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on. Now, folks, don't you <laughs> hey! worry. Two hours. Nah, folks, don't you good. worry none. I'll have a talk with her, see if we can so come to some sort of compromise. Don't Thank worry, you everybody. Thank you. Thank yeah. I appreciate that. We'll yeah. talk to her. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, all right. Now, let us not let this damp of the mood of today. It's still Founders Day. we got a couple of mysteries to solve. We're each going to be in here where you can examine them. Have a wonderful Founders Day, Calico! Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to re reacquaint with Calico's favorite news reporter, Mr. Vixby Happy Founders Day, sir. Happy Founders Day to Good you. Good to see you. You too. Why don't you go? Be right with you. Go over to Miss Donna and ask her who the hey. Put that away. Go ask her who the most trouble is. Hey, All right. <laughs> How have you been? You? Oh, I've been great. It's a good day when you're back in town, buddy. Yep. And now our skyline has changed a little bit. Skyline? What did you talk about? That's a very odd mountain, isn't it? Yeah. Can't wait you to get what? that credit. I'm actually glad you're here. You Would too. You mind helping mix me out? What's going on? See, I don't have a date to the hoe down. I was wondering, uh, I was thinking about asking Miss Lucy Nolan, but I want to make sure she's not going with anyone. Can you go see if she's going to the hoedown with anyone? Sure. I mean, Keep I've been, secret. during my trip, at least when I was away, I did practice my hoedown steps. Oh, all right. Let's take a look. Oh, that's very nice. Try doing it. It's not as hot because you have dance lances on board. My goodness. Well, you are such a good dancer. You ought to show Miss Violet Lee that. Maybe yeah. you could teach the saloon dancers a thing or two. Uh, uh, I don't want to outdo them, and I don't want to see them lose their jobs. Such a kind-hearted person. Well, that's All me. right. Let me know what Miss uh, Miss Lucy says. Okay. All right, but hey, it's good to see you. And sorry for my attire today. Oh, no, it's beautiful. You have such an eye for fashion. Uh, no. Well, I blended with the Mayfields. <laughs> oh, the trial. Get a move on. That's something I don't understand, Deputy. How did Miss Violet get that shotgun? I don't know. She bought it. This is quite the predicament. Get your flask, show me. Sir, they tried to rob the bank again. Wait a dang minute. They robbed the bank? Who robbed the bank? Someone. All right. And order. Order. The clerk will now read the charges. Well, as you she can, she's under arrest. Well, will, will somebody please tell me what happened? Order. Luke, will you tell me what yeah, happened? Uh, Miss One Shot here and her group, and Tiny and his group, and Miss Violet Lee and her group all tried to rob the bank at the same time. All at the same time? Yes, sir. Quiet, quiet. What is wrong with you people? Don't you have anything better to do with your time? charges against you. How do y'all plead? Innocent or guilty? No. Guilty! Guilty! Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Colonel. Now listen, as the public defender, I think it's uh, my clients, all of my clients have a right to tell their story. If we did that, Kid Friday, we'd be here till 1893. Hey, now, Judge, listen here. Uh, if you find them guilty, I got no place to keep them. Well... In light of these new circumstances, I, I guess I'm going to let you all off with a warning against my brother's attention. Just don't let it happen again. Besides, not like the bank was robbed. 
Scusi, scusi! The bank has been robbed! What? The bank, she has been robbed! He listened to the man. They got who, the nugget. It's gone. Who could have? How did they get in? The, the, the window. Win, the vault window. See, see. I said it before and I'll say it oh. again. Who puts a window in a bank vault? Well, Antonio, <laughs> did you see him? No, Antonio, no see nobody. Oh. Who could have done it? Well, it wasn't us. For a change, because Sheriff, I need to right. issue an arrest warrant for Phyllis Ma Mayfield and Dead Eye Jackson. Well, wait a minute. Dead Eye Jackson? Honor, you don't got no proof, no evidence. Kid Friday, I got a gal in town who just stood here not too long ago and threatened us to take the mad law into her own hands if we didn't hand oh, over to right. the feed to this town in two hours' time. It hasn't been two hours. Now listen, <laughs> Sheriff, I need you, you to go find me Phyllis Ma Mayfield. I'll do that. As for the rest of you, you're free to go. Just don't let it happen again. Yes. Antonio, are you okay? You heard, okay. The, uh, you heard the judge. We need your help to find Phyllis Mom Mayfield. You can make up some uh, wanted posters over at the bank or at the sheriff's office. That's right, folks. And we're also going to put together a posse. <laughs> That's right. We're going to bring those outlaws to justice. Now, we'll be gathering out in front of the sheriff's office at 2.30. And I'll see you at 2.30, where I guarantee you we're going to bring Mom Mayfield and that gangster to justice. Are you with us? Yeah! We'll see you at 2.30. How did you know the nugget was gone? It's kind of weird now we have three judges. The window was open. Yeah, I agree with... Yes, what? May I keep bringing those? Oh, absolutely, my dear. Thank you, my dear. That is a good question. Yeah, that, I agree with what you said. Who puts a, a window in the vault? It is exactly. Uh, I believe you are uh, someone. I saw something called the uh, the general store. That is my store, sir. Oh, so you must be a uh, Clem Potter. I am Clem Potter. Mm -hmm. 102. Yep, there you go. What are you going to do? What? He didn't, didn't work there. Trace the key. Well, I was finally good to finally get to Where's meet you after all this time. You as well. How you doing? Good. You. You new here in town? You've been here a while. I've been here for since the 75th anniversary. Seven, of oh, three years now. Yeah. Well, I'm new to town. I've been here about four weeks. Yeah. So we finally get to meet the man behind the store. Came out west to seek my fortune. Bought out the general store. Uh, oh, then, okay. And then and then the fortune is gone. And well, well, the fortune's gone because I sunk most of it in my business. Yeah. And 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 also the rest of it got robbed just now. That is correct. You gotta take this. I promise me not to do any of this nonsense again. All right. I promise that. This man to say I will not attempt to rob any of you. All right. That's um, best I can. That's best I can hope for. <laughs> no, this here is some flour that I was gonna give to Miss Donna Ferndale because she's gonna bring scones to my tea party. So you gave up your um, I do have a quick question though. Where did you get that shotgun? Well, I told the sheriff that I really was admiring his shotgun and if I could please take a look at it and he just handed it to me. No. And I the thing is, Milton it. wants one too because of Phyllis Mayfield. Well, you gotta ask and me. myself included. Well, you probably gotta ask the sheriff about that. Yeah, because you're Phyllis running muck around. Mine got confiscated, remember? Oh, the, I, oh. And then the bank got robbed while all of us were all distracted. I know. So whoever, whoever did it was real smart to do that. A smart son of a gun. Wah, wah. No, pun, no pun intended, by the way. <laughs> You're real funny. But it's good to have you back. Thank you very much. And I promise I won't get into any more trouble. Now we got to keep our eyes open for Phyllis. Good idea. It's and uh, Dead Eye Jackson. Dead Eye Jackson. Is that one of her gang? One, one of the unknown ones who just moved into town with her. Oh. Well, if you see him, can you report back and let me know? Sure. Thank you. Her name was on that piece for any of this malarkey pulled up. They crossed it off, they sold it, they fought over it. Mom Mayfield is being as serious as she is tonight. I'm very afraid of Something you do when you get up in the morning. No, no, she didn't. Somebody just said she was dead. But, uh, she wasn't did dead. She, if she had a will and say that somebody else would be dead. Have you ever spoken to Mom Mayfield? Uh, no. I reckon here's what you should do. Talk to each of these people. I I oh, she's in the saloon right now. Oh, you can have a senior, Senator. See that, that fellow over there with the red shirt and the straw hat? Uh, 
he works at the NSA office Big League. You can ask him. He, they own the deed now. The miners do. But Ma's in the saloon hanging out there with that big cup. I'm going to go to the Side conversation. People say, private. Nobody listens to private. Mr. Potter? So, what? Uh, Howdy, on. sir. Did I miss anything important? Not, were you here for their meeting? What happened in the meeting? The trial? What happened? I was well, at lunch. We went down and arrested Mom Mayfield out of that Calico saloon. I had figured she was in there. Came down here, put her on trial. Yeah. She swore she was innocent. Turns out she was. Zeke Connolly, our town assayer, admitted to taking that gold. Out no, no, of the no. bank, out of the f and and revealed to all of us the reason he took it is because it's fool's gold. What? Not, not real at all. So that must mean... Now, what's going to happen with the deed well, now? Well, Phyllis said since that deed was we bought with ill-gotten gold... Clay. Clay. Since it was bought with ill-gotten gold, the deed rightfully belongs to her. So today at 3.30, just in about half hour's time, we're going to have a town meeting to decide who is the rightful and lawful owner of so, the deed of So Calif Phyllis is up for it. Ophelia has to do something about that. Ophelia? You could ask the bank, Clay. ask the candy store, and ask the saloon. For what? Oh, he's going around offering favors to people. Oh, that's nice. That's, that's what we expect here in town, right? One shot. What? That's what you, that's kind of behavior you expect when you're having town. Oh, everyone doing favors for everybody. Yes. Oh, there, there goes Zeke's business. Where are you off to now? Next door. Next door. Well, enjoy your day here. Howdy. So how did that trial go exactly? I wasn't there. Were you there? No, I, I, was, I was actually at the, I was on the boardwalk searching for my lunch. Well, shucks. I bet if you go to town hall right now, they'll give you the whole story. I thought they. I thought I was asking for more details. Mr. Potter told me the whole thing. Did he? Yeah. Oh, well, what did he say? Oh, he said that Phyllis Mayfield was caught at the saloon, judging by all that gunfire you probably Mayfield heard. Phyllis Mayfield was caught at the saloon. Did you hear about that, Phyllis? The thing was, All right, see you later. she claimed she was innocent, and it turns out she, well, you're not going to believe this. What What do you think it was the verdict? What do you think was the verdict? What do you think was What do you think was the verdict? Uh, what do you think was the verdict? It was she. She claimed she was innocent, and it turns out she was. She's innocent. She's innocent. I knew she because, was. She's a nice lady. Because Zeke Connolly, of all people, really admitted to stealing the nugget. And it turns out. Hi there. Oh, sure. And you're and uh, you're not gonna believe what he said. That nugget was fool's gold. Fool's gold. We've been fooled. We've been fooled. And the calico mine was nothing more than a silver you mine. Paper? There you go, buddy. And that that mine, where all those trains are going to now, are actually a silver mine. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to go to the assay office and tell Ophelia about this, okay? Right. And now that the deed's up for a county. Good shot, Mr. Parter. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. Get on in, Bib. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you. Good citizens of Calico, this is an emergency meeting called by your town leaders to settle the matter once and for all. Who owns the right to the land, the deed of the town of Calico? Now, to keep this as fair as possible, I have asked Judge Colonel Clem Potter to moderate these proceedings. Colonel Clem Potter. Thank you. Good citizens of Calico, not less than one hour ago, our town assayer, Zeke Connolly, stood right on these steps and announced to the town that the huge gold claim made 
by Peg Leg Cinch was in fact a fraud. It was fool's gold. There is some debate about the true ownership of this town, and that is why we've called this meeting, so that each person can come up here and state their case. Clerk, call the first. Clay Mayfield. Folks, I'll be brief. Uh, last year, um, well, uh, the deed is mine, and uh, I want it back. Last year, uh, my father, who we found out was newly alive, had uh, crossed off my mother's name because, anyway, his name's on the deed, and he uh, stole engine 41 and lost the deed. So I, I got on that train, yes, but I got on that train to talk sense into it, to reason with him. Lest we forget, last year I helped capture my father and was elected your town sheriff. Bottom line, I was wrongly stripped of my title, falsely incarcerated, and uh, the, the deed, which is supposed to go to my father's next of kin. Wait a minute, the next of kin? That's me. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, There's a fish in Bigfoot Rapids. Woo. I got my rope. Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> come on. Look out, look out. There's a fish in Bigfoot Rapids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's gone. <laughs> my point is, the deed is supposed to go to my father's next of kin. This guy. So, I'd like it back. Thank you very much.
So it's going to be a weekly strip, so we will be thinking for the things here and here, so next week is going to be a Tuesday, and then possibly we're going to start doing half-day visits as well, so do stay tuned to that, everybody. Girls Town Alive is going to be on Tuesday next week. Mason, how about you? Charlie, all right, how about you, sir? Andy. What we're going to do is we're like looking for the finest whiskers in town. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. No, oh. so, I think we have a winner. I think we have a winner. We call this contestant number zero? Yeah, number zero. I think we have a winner, Percy. All right. All right. Say we start over here with yes. that. Okay. Now we're going to start over number five. Everybody give me a nice round of applause for my man right there, number five. Yes. All right. We're going to say the little ones for last. Okay. Hold on. Right here, my man Matthew. Give it up for him, everybody. Come on. What's that again? Good. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Somebody's cheating, but that's okay. <laughs> What's your name, Young? Yes, Matthew. All right, now we got two youngins here. So let's hear it for the youngins. Come on, everybody. Yes, yes, yes. Now, by calico rule, see that this is Founders Day. Anytime we see two great youngins with great mustaches, they automatically win. So let's give it for all the contestants. Okay, back at the dress shop again. Percy Bean Percy, huh? Hey.
to our Founders Day holder! <laughs> I declare. All right, now today, all over town, we had a lot of excitement, but I have to say, this was the most fun Founders Day I've ever had. Yeah. Now, we had a lot of contests, and we got some winners out here. Raise your hand if you want one of our contests that have a blue ribbon. Hey, Megan, you got one out of there, Mr. Gabriel? Yeah. Another one over here? Let's give them all a big yee-haw. Here we go. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was good. Oh, well, enough of my yakking. You ready to do a little dancing, Calico? Yeah. My friend, Dr. Dr. Carter, would you please lead us in one of your dances? I'm going to be honored there, Milton. Happy Founders Day, Calico! Yeah. Let's go ahead and find yourselves a partner. We're getting one big circle here, ladies and gentlemen. Find yourselves a partner. We're getting one big circle. It's actually a pretty good turnout. If we need to make a smaller circle on the inside, we can do that as well. This is a partner switch and dance, ladies and gentlemen. So if you have a little one that maybe won't want to switch with you, you can go ahead and take it to the outside or the inside of the circle. Circle up, everybody. Now, once you have a partner, make sure you have one foot facing the inside of the circle and one foot facing the outside of the circle, just like we're doing. That's right, make sure that we close some of these gaps. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go ahead and show you what to do. Now, let's go ahead and start with your inside foot. That's a foot that's facing the inside of the circle. Go ahead and give us a heel, toe, heel, toe, and then slide one, two, three times toward the center of the circle. Perfect, now you're gonna go ahead and take the outside foot and give us a heel, toe, heel, toe, and then slide one, two, three times to the outside. Wonderful, now, hook right arms with your partner and swing around in a circle. Now hook left arms and swing the other way. Excellent, excellent. Now, go ahead and put your right hand up and clap your partner's hands one, two, three times. Now clap your left hand and clap one, two, three times. Now go ahead and clap your own knees. One, two, three. Now clap your own hands. One, two, three. Now, here's my favorite little scientific part of this dance. Go ahead and pass the right shoulder of your partner. And once you pass the right shoulder, you should be finding yourself facing a brand new partner. That's how the partner switching works. Ophelia, our friends need some help over here. There we are. You, know, yeah, you should be getting together. You should be together. That's how it works. And guess what? That's all the dance moves. What do you say we have a dance, Calico? Make sure you're facing your partner. Get ready. And here we go. And a heel, toe, heel, toe, and slide, slide, slide. And a heel, toe, heel, toe, and slide, slide, slide. Now hook right arms and swing around. Now hook left arms and go to town. Now right hand clap. Now left hand clap. Now clap your knees. Now clap your own. Shoulders be the new friend and we're going to do that once again. Heel, toe, and slide, slide, slide. And heel, toe, heel, toe, and slide, slide, slide. Now hook right arms and swing around. Now hook left arms and go to town. Now a right hand clap. Now left hand clap. Now clap your knees. Now clap your own. Now pass right shoulders, feet the friend. We're gonna do that once again. Heel, toe, heel, toe, and slide, slide, slide. Now heel, toe, heel, toe, and slide, slide, slide. Now hook right arms, swing round. Now hook left arms, keep your feet on the ground. And right hand clap. Now left hand clap. Now clap your knees. Now clap your own. Now give yourselves a round of applause. received word from the sheriff's office that Sheriff Bryce Wheeler has an important announcement. So ladies and gentlemen, Sheriff Bryce Wheeler. Yay! Well, howdy everybody. How's everybody doing? Good. All right. Now folks, I got news. Now, earlier today, several of our good citizens were tempted into robbing the Miners Bank of Caledon. You know who you are. Now folks, when asked, they all said the same thing. They had found notes around town that gave the idea to do this. Now, these notes were described in great detail how to rob the bank. On further investigation from my office, 
we had found out that these notes have been left around town by none other than the faithful bank guard himself, Antonio Salvatore. What? Or should I say, Arkansas Jones, or AKA Texas Jack, or AKA Kansas City Kevin. No. And what have you got to say for yourself? No, I am Antonio's. I don't know what it is. Hey, hey Tony, I, I, I drop the accent. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. I, I came here to make a new name for myself, and I fell in love with this town. I should have told you all the truth. I'm so sorry. All right, off to the who's gal with you. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I kind of got to my heart a little bit. So I say, how about one last dance? What do you guys think? One dance. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Tell the you get one dance. One Thank dance. You, sir. One dance. That's it. Oh, one dance. Doc, could you lead us in that dance? I would be F3. There's a lot of people here today. Make sure that you have yourself a partner. And let's get in two lines that are facing each other. Now, when you folks are making these two lines, make sure you leave yourself enough room. Because we're going to have people who are going to careen up and down those lines. Good. All right. Once you make sure you have your partner, go ahead and separate from your partner. Go ahead and make some space in those lines. We need a lot of space there, Calico. Good job. Good job. Everybody have a partner? We don't want to leave everybody out. Shake hands with your partner across just real quick. There we go. Everybody should have somebody. And now, folks, here's what we're going to do. First step is take a step forward toward your partner. Now take a step back. Now go ahead and change sides with your partner. Wonderful. Now you're going to repeat the exact same move. Take a step into the middle. Now take a step back. And now change sides with your partner. Excellent job, Calico. Now make some room. Make some room because the first couple on the Calico Saloon side is going to cross arms with their partner. And they are going to promenade all the way down to the count of eight. And then they're going to promenade back to the count of eight. Let's go ahead and give them a count of eight. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back. One, two, three, four, two, the other way, the other way. There we are, count of eight. It's a count of eight down and it's a count of eight back. Now when they get all the way back to the end, they are going to banana peel off. And they're going to go all the way on the outside to the very end. All the way down to the very end of the line. Now when they get to the end of the line, they're going to meet up with their partner. They're going to push their hands up and make a bridge, ladies and gentlemen. Once they make that bridge, you folks are going to go ahead and go around the bridge. Link arms with your partner. Go under the bridge and make yourself a brand new set of two new lines. The only people that are doing the bridge is the first couple who did the promenade. Everybody else should be following the leader and moving. The only people who are doing the bridge are the first people. There, now you're getting it, Calico. That's good. That way everybody else just gets a little bit of Now the bridge should stay there where it is at the end. We'll go ahead and get it, Calico. So happy to see so many first time. Hold out. Almost got everybody through. You'll find that it's going to be a brand new set of two new lines. Good job, good job, good job. Now you have plenty of room here, so make sure that you spread out. Those are all the dance moves. What do you say we have a dance? Yeah, let's do it. That's a beautiful rhythm there, Calico. Absolutely wonderful. Now here we go. Everybody meet in the middle. Now everybody head back. Now everybody change sides. Now everybody meet in the middle. Now everybody head back. Now everybody change sides. First couple on the Calico Saloon side. Let's promenade for eight. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. But then the peel off and follow through. Everybody else do like it. Almost got it. 
everybody through. That's one, two, three, and four. We did it. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. Now, everybody get in the middle. Now, everybody head back. Now, everybody change sides. Everybody be in the middle. Now everybody head back. Now everybody change sides. First couple on the Calico Saloon side. Cross arms and promenade. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Banana peel, arms, banana peel, and follow through. Everybody else do like they do.
here at Ghost Town Alliance today. And I find it very weird that no Parnell has not appeared. Because believe it or not, they I see videos, they are here. No Parnell appeared on the first episode, which is extremely weird for Parnell Sanders. But next Tuesday, if my schedule stays the way it is, we'll be back here. And hopefully get to meet some of the citizens we did not meet. So if you guys enjoy and including some of the things we did not see. So if you guys enjoyed today's coverage, hit the subscribe button, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, and all that good stuff. And all I can say is to the citizens of Calico, welcome back to season three. A lot more to this than meets the eye, y'all. See you guys tomorrow when I'm at Disney.